Hello guys and girls and welcome to the last week of the GBA. This is week 12, this is the team builder and we are facing off against the Bronx Vertex coached by none other than Joey aka Pokey Aim. And since we are already clinched for playoffs this is in no way a really important game for me. The only thing in which case it matters is that if I lose I will end up in the fourth seed and with that most likely face Envy in the playoffs. I think that's guaranteed if I lose I face Envy in the playoffs. I'm not sure. I didn't look into that because I, honestly I do not care much who I face in the playoffs. That's why I think it's not really an important game for me. And on the other hand, if I win with Joey, I face Jolt. And if I win with Joey high enough and Jolt loses enough, I still face Jolt in the playoffs. So <laughs> that's the uh, basically the two choices. And uh, yeah, this game is way more important for my opponent for Joey and on the other hand very important for Gio who is facing coach Z this week. These are the two guys who are fighting for the last playoff spot in uh, in our conference basically. Me, Jolt and MV are already confirmed but Joey and Gio not yet and that's why I take this game still very seriously because I don't like being like lazy and having fun all this stuff in matches which still matter for someone else. In this case Joey and Gio. So. I will still take this game seriously. In addition to that, of course, I want to have revenge for my loss this season versus Joy. So, uh, yeah, we can't have people running around with a positive record versus us. So, uh, yeah, the plan is still winning versus Joy, ruining his playoff chances in case Gio does win as well. That would be ha that would be fun. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all for the history of the match. Uh, let's just go with this team real quick. It did change a bit in comparison to our last match. He has the Zygarde, the Magnus, and the Necrozma. Whimsicott, Mega Gyarados, Heracross, Linoon, Celazzle, Rhydon, Excelgor, and Licky Licky. Licky Licky, Linoon, and Megazone are his new members. He doesn't have Miltank anymore, he doesn't have Stagataka anymore, and he doesn't have. I don't know what he doesn't have anymore. He got Linoon and Licky Licky, so his tier 5 got away. What was his tier 5 before? Probably not something important because otherwise I would remember that. But yeah, last time I lost. Mainly because of his Salazzle in Tailwind. Uh, me miscounting Tailwind turns uh, did not help either. That, that basically sealed the game. I was in a bad spot already, then I miscounted Tailwind turns and I just buried my own grave. So, Salazzle, huge threat versus my team. That's the problem right now because that might mean he brings it again because such a huge threat versus my team, which is true. Like, my, I don't have a fire and poison resist. Everything, it hits basically my, my whole team for either neutral or super effective damage. So that is problematic and on the other hand he might think okay this time last will over prep for Salazzle so I'm bringing another threat with his team and his team is full of threats. He has the Necrozma, Zygarde and Mega Gyarados hitch his trifecta of setup sweeping which is very scary because for one you don't really want to bring a choice one with that because if you're locked in into the wrong move you give Zygarde a free switch and you give Mega Gyarados a switch in which can Mega Buff or not so you basically have to deal with two different typings on the Necrozma and either way one of them clicks like a setup move and then sweeps through your team and on the other hand you want to have a choice scuff or a choice man so you can still revenge kill one of these mods even though they set up a dragon gas or something like that. So very uh, difficult general. He got the line noon which I'm not sure he's bringing because I have Cobalion and Gengar which are faster. One resists extreme speed, the other one is immune to extreme speed and they all go back with respective move but I have to bring still one of them to deal with the line noon and other than that last time he brought a very speed death rider to deal with my mega manetric which uh, kind of deals with other mods on my team as well. He brought the whimsical of course and I think that's it. Yeah. Heracross still very as well with the guts uh, buff slash burn nerf. This mod is a very scary. I have a good amount of revenge kills to the thing, but I don't have the best switches to that thing. This, uh, my Feeny does re resist a stool of stabs, so it's probably my, gonna be my first answer in fighting and bug. Of course, Fairy resists both of that. But if he has like a uh, burnt facade or a bullet seed, something like that, Finny is not taking those hits, especially not the set I'm bringing. So, uh, yeah, that is problematic as well. But uh, yeah, that's basically his team. Like I said, very setup scary. So far, he was very much a fan of like fancy Zygarde sets, not just straight bandits, straight dragon dance. He brought like Thousand Wave Toxic and Grudge last time with me to stall up my Rantus out of Leaf Storms and all this good stuff. So. Now, I have to be very for that, but Zygarde is not the big problem with the team. The combination of Finny and Durantus basically shuts that down because Finny just being immune to dragon attacks and the Durantus dealing well, very well with a uh, thousand arrows and in Mystic Terrain even only tackling half from his dragon moves. The more scary mons sweeping wise, like setup sweeping wise, are the Crossman and the Of course, the level is straight up a threat. Heracross is straight up a threat. 
But uh, yeah, with those I have to deal in the game. Well, Nikki Licky actually turning out to be a huge pain defensively. Like it's Spadef Nikki Licky, which is very like for stuff like my Gengar, for stuff like my Kyurum. For Kyurum, I expect more like the Magnezon to come, which is a problem as well. It's not going to be uh, the, the trapping one, uh, Magnet Pull, because like he, I mean, he could try to trap Cobalion, but I don't think it's really working. <laughs> <laughs> because Kabalion is way too bulky, takes HP fires and basically Oko's back with close combat stuff like that. So it's gonna be a, what you call it, um, an analytic one. And I switching out just boost busted, uh, staying in and being slower uh, busted. So that's gonna be a pain to take down. But either way, that is the overall of his team. Let's go over my team. So first up, we start up with Gengar. Like I said, I have to bring either Gengar or Kobalion. Gengar being the more safer option since immune to extreme speed, so I don't chip damage doesn't even, even matter on that. And of course, Gengar has a very nice offense matchup versus team. I have enough speed to outspeed his next fastest mod, which actually is, I would have to look at his. I think it's max speed uh, Lanoon. Yeah, max speed Jolly Lanoon. I speed this that. And I have Chatter Ball, Himpa, Ice, Focus Blast, 55 MZ, and Energy Ball. Very similar set to last time. Last time I had Ice Speed and Himpa Ice, and I had Thunderbolt over Energy Ball, and I had the Expert Belt over the 5 MZ. Um, very similar set to last time. Shadow Ball hits his team very nicely. His only resist to that is the. Uh, his normal types, of course, which don't like Focus Blast, and his uh, uh, Mega Gyarados, once a Mega Gyarados, and it doesn't like Focus Blast either. And after have the 5MZ Focus Blast to like have a super, a very strong, super effective, accurate hit versus one of these mods. Hidden Ice mainly, of course, there for the Zygarde, hits the, uh, uh, the Women's Record as well. And Energy Ball is mainly there for the um, Rhydon, because if he brings, once again, a very speed of Rhydon, he sees Manetric is not there, that probably means for him that he's gonna preserve his Rhydon for my Gengar. In which case, I have the energy balls. Don't have to quote unquote waste my 5 MZ on that. I can just go for energy ball, which does very uh, good amount of damage to that, of course, being four times weaker. It doesn't Oko okay, sell, even his max for death, but after one shadow ball and rock switch in, boom, energy ball is an Oko, even to a max for death ride on. That's why I have the energy ball on deck on my Gengar right here. In general, like I said, very speedy, very nice coverage, and the Z focus blast to pop some Licky Licky shenanigans, Lanoon. Uh, Stuff like the, uh, what you call it, the Magnezone, stuff like the Mega Gyarados wants it, Mega Evolve, stuff like the Rhino potentially if I don't need 5 MZ for anything else, and I don't want to take Energy Ball, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, the only problem is I kind of miss Thunderbolt, because Energy Ball, of course, only does uh, super effect damage versus the Mega Gyarados wants it, Mega Evolves. Thunderbolt would it do in both scenarios, but if I have my Gengar in versus Gyarados, he will most likely think I will have Thunderbolt, so I don't think he will, like, stay unevolved versus Gengar. So, that's, that's that. But once he knows I have Energy Ball, he most likely won't. So it de all depends on when I reveal Energy Ball and when his Gyarados is Mega Evolved. That this could be problematic. But we'll. But if in, in worst case scenario, I still have my uh, Alamans to deal with the Gyarados, mainly this guy right here. But uh, yeah, next up we got Mr. Cipher, the Durantus. Of course, physical defense, with a little bit of speed, death invested, and a little bit of speed. Leaves on superpower, hidden power, ice, and synthesis. Very similar set to last time as well. Leaves on superpower, just very nice uh, in general. Uh, hidden power, ice is there, so he can spawn me out of another grudge set. I'm, it's very unlikely that he brings it again since he revealed it last time. But in case, I just have hidden power, ice, which I plus two just hit uh, Oko's Zygarde if he's not, if he's stand on offensive Zygarde, that is. Of course, it could be more bulky, stuff like that. Synthesis for recovery. And then I have enough speed to outspeed and no speed uh, right on. Uh, enough physical bulk so that in Mystic Terrain, Outrage can't do it KO me uh, from a bandit Zygarde, that is. And enough speed death investment so that I'm not too hit KO'd by a flash cannon slash hidden power fire from a modest non boosting item Magnezone. Because I'm very much expecting him to be a assault with Magnezone, mainly for my Kyurem, because then he doesn't die to Earth Power and he can analytic flash cannon me and kill me. So I'm, it's very likely. I'm like. 80% sure that if Megazon comes, it's gonna be just max HP, um, not a max special attack, modest assault death. Because looking at the speed here of Megazon, if he wants to be a bulky assault death variant, he doesn't really have anything of speed creep. He probably has very minuscule speed investment on there to speed creep something. But basically, I think it's more likely that he's very bulky with a lot of HP, and in which case, I can superpower that thing. Superpower is nice, of course, there for the uh, Licky League as well, which, like I said, I expect him to be more speed death. And super power, even without, like without getting any boost, super power is a 2 hit KO versus a max special defense Licky Licky. And the second super power, of course, being stronger, can then KO it as well. Lorent is in general a very nice Mon versus his team. The only thing which this thing, of course, invites in is the Salazzle because, yeah, resist it, resist it, resist it, and healing move on Lorentis. So, like last time, I have to be wary of that. I don't have my Crocodile with me this time. I have another Mon to deal with the, uh, to deal with the, um, Salazzle. And that is my next one right here, which is Mozilla. I have puppy, puppy, I have puppy, puppy, no, I have puppy, berry. With uh, enough speed to outspeed a max speed, not Lanoon, I want to say max speed 
Oh, that's scary. I think Max beat Heracross. Looking at his team, Heracross is 85. I think it's Heracross. No, Max beat Zygarde? Is it for Max beat Zygarde? No, it's too little speed for Zygarde. Either... I should have looked up for what that speed is. I think... I want to say it's for Heracross. I want to say it's for Heracross. I don't have my stuff open. I don't want to open another tab for this. So, uh, yeah, I will probably have in the comments for what the speed is for, if I don't na na name it right here. But yeah, very spidef, uh, decently spidefly bulky. This is that I'm not too it KO'd by uh, a life orb sludge wave from the Salazzle. With Rock's up, of course, it does quick KO me. But with Rock's up, I get my yeah, Papa Berry after Rock's Vision plus sludge wave. So then I have Psy Shark, Mystic Fire, Willows, and Wish. Wish, of course, my mining for recovery. Psychic Fire card is very nice with this team. The only thing which can really deal with that uh, like the Zygarde and the Gyarados which, and the Rhydon, which I can all burn, the burning burn on this is very nice. And then I have Mystical Fire there, just in case. This is a nice switch into the Banking Zone as well. Of course, I resist the Flash Can and stuff like that. I'm very bulky for Wolf Switch and stuff like that. And if he, like, stays in with me because he, he knows I'm not very off offensive and he wants, like, wo slow Wolf to drill me, with the Mystical Fire, I can ner I can get the guaranteed Spit Deck Drop and basically nerf the Wolf Switch damage he's doing to me, even though it's gonna be a Lytic Boosted. It helps as well with the special Necrozma. You can basically miss fire that thing and drop his uh, special attack, so he basically isn't a threat if it's a special variant, it's a physical variant. Boom, Will-O-Wisp, and uh, yeah. Delphox in general, I think it's gonna put a lot of work. I have the Apava Berry over Leftovers, because I don't think Delphox will stay in for a lot of turns. Leftovers is only nice if you stay in for a longer amount of turn, you get like many turns of Leftovers recovery. But if you're just basically a switch in, you switch out again, you switch out in again, switch out again, uh, kind of deal, then you won't get much Leftovers recovery out of this. And that's why I have a puppy bear on this, because that's the scenario in which berries actually heal more. Like if I get the berry off, I heal 50%, I would need to stay... Uh, uh, ten round, around ten, like nine rounds on the field to get more leftovers recovery than from this bad run berry, and I don't think that's how Delphox is going to work in this match. It's more like a stay in, go for one move, switch out again. Whereas Lorantus can most likely stay long on the field, click least on super power over and over and over again. And in general, having leftovers recovery is better on that. Next up, we got Jeff Assault Test variant. Enough speed. I think it's the same speed for as Mozilla, right? Yeah, it's enough speed for the Heracross. I want to say. Looking at his team, Celeste is faster, Lightroom is faster, uh, Mega Garros is slower than Heracross, Whimsicott is too fast, Necrozma is slower, Magazine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, the Heracross because for a uh, speed type of um, what you call it, which is Zygarde, they would have to wear a max speed. So it's for Heracross, there we go, that's the confirmation. So Heracross, Fusion Bolt, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Dragon Tail, S, Salt, Desert Variant. I have the same physical investment as last time, seeing that I can 2 it KO. Uh, Mega Arrows always after the Intimidate drop, even if you Mega Balls and he's only one time weak to that, Fusion Bolt is a 2 hit KO to that. And then I just have a very fancy move with the Steam Ice Cream, Earth Power, Dragon Shell. I'm gonna say this is the set which destroyed Joey, uh, which, which, with which Envy destroyed Joey last time. I saw this Akira Black with Ice Cream, Earth Power, Dragon Shell. I don't remember the fourth move, obviously, it wasn't Fusion Bolt because regular Akira doesn't get that. But I have Fusion Bolt because it's very nice with this team. And yeah, Dragon Tail is very nice. I had I had that last time on a set as well. Last time I had Rosetta Berry for the uh, Windsor Cut. Dragon Tail is very nice to just deter setup on this team. Like I said, this team is very setup heavy. With Dragon Tail, I can just Dragon Tail all the setup out if he wants to go that in front of my face. And then I have Earth Power, mainly with the Lazzle, uh, and stuff like the Magnazole, of course, and then Ice Beam for the Zygarde, stuff like that. I am still minus special attack nature because even if I would be not minus special attack nature and would, for example, have these 100 right here, right here, then I could wouldn't be able to one, one shot a Magnezone either way if you saw this. So even with minus and not minus, I still could KO Magnezone. So I don't really see the purpose of. Uh, or I, I rather have more bulk, not minus defense, not minus speed death, not minus speed definitely not, not minus attack with fusion bolt stuff like that and dragon tail. So that's why I still have minus special attack. And Ice Beam still old coast as I got, even with minus special attack nature, barring here as the Archie Berry. But then even max special attack wouldn't old him. So yeah, that's basically my reasoning for being my special attack, even though I have two special attacks. And then Fusion Bolt is my strongest move. I actually have this thing, Dragon Tail after stab is just 90 base power, still very strong. But uh, yeah, that's why I have Fusion Bolt on the top and Dragon Tail mainly there. I, could, well, I had Dragon Claw on that first, but then I yeah I just saw the setup mons. Like with this spread, uh, someone could always set up on me, be it the uh, Nick Rosma, very bulky variant on that, be it uh, the the Gyarados, depending on, on the set he has. Like, if he is, switches in on me, I can to it KO him, but I'd rather most likely just drain kill him out. And it's easier for switches as well, if the Wizard Cut, for example, is gone, or I'm thinking he won't switch that in on, like, an Ice Beam or something like that, then uh, Dragon Tail is very nice as well to get to shuffle the team, basically, around. Uh, Ice Beam, of course, as well, same for Wizard Cut. I, a max special attack, uh, modest, 
or Life of Mary could Oko or Women's Squad, depending on the spread. But I'm not thinking that uh, Joey will bring a set like that. If he brings a Women's Squad, it's definitely going to be one which doesn't is the, isn't Oko by Ice Beam, in which case my special tag is fine as well to yeah, deal with that to it there and all this good stuff. Next up, we have Walnut. Once again, a tri scarf variant. The same set as last time, just one thing changed. I am not trick. I don't have uh, Hidden Power Electric. I have Trick this time. That is because the Licky Licky is just such a good switch into me if you spin that variant. That I rather trick that. I also trick that. That is very nice and it's basically not a threat anymore. Switching in can't. Since the only recovery move is Wish, and if I lock him into Wish, then he needs two turns. He's one tame, he can't he can protect and all this good stuff. So that is very nice. Then Defog, of course, because I'm on Defog, and then Moolah Serve is just very nice with his team. He got now a better fairy resist in the Magnus Zone, but that still doesn't like taking uh, taking serves. And this, of course, nice for the Heracross if it's. Uh, the flame offset because then I can switch in, take a hit, and Oko with Moonblast. Same with the uh, Gyarados. Even if he sets up this thing or speeds it, Oko with Moonblast. Uh, and if he make it evolves, that is. And so it's nice for the Lazzle, all this good stuff. In general, I think Tricep Finny is nice for this team. And in case Licky Licky is down or I don't need Tricep anymore, I can still trick it away and have like a non, uh, non, uh, what you call, non lock in. Finny, and I can switch up moves on d and all this good stuff. Next up, we got a very fancy set, which is the Masprit right here. My rocker of the team. At first, I have Crocodile here, but in the end, I think Masprit does the job just better. I am a very bulky Masprit. That way, I'm basically living any hit anyone wants, wants to do versus me. Byron Heracross. This is most likely going to be my lead, but what, what, when you see from the move set already. And I don't think Heracross will lead on his team, uh, seeing how my squad is built and stuff like that. It has rocks, of course. It's, I won't have rocks versus his team. Speed creeping wise, there was not really anything I want to speed creep on this team, which wouldn't make sense. Which I would either lose on a bulk and still be and get KO'd by something, or I, uh, or I wouldn't still have to speed, don't speed anything. So I rather have only 12 speed in case he wants to speed creep me because 100 he will want a one mons. So mid 1 or 12, I still still don't speed the mons, which is want to speed creep and no speed mass spread. Rest in bulk, max HP, and then max special attack, life of modest. Uh, messed with that grass not Oko's a uh, ride on even his max special defensive last time he led with it to get rocks up and with grass not just Oko that's I think hidden power ground is there for the magnezone which is a likely lead as well and then Psyche just as main step option instead of rocks right here I was playing around with the movesets a lot at first I had knockoff then I had toxic then I had hidden power ground for the magnezone stuff like that in general this is more like an anti-lead mon his most likely leads are the ride on and the magnezone in my opinion and in both scenarios I can just hidden power ground grass on them and if there's anything else I can do a lot of damage with Psy shock or just get my rocks up. I don't think Master will stay long in the match. Like I said, I'll just leave it, take any hit and do a lot of damage or get rocks up. But uh, yeah, that's the purpose of this mess spread, just to deal with those mods. Because once Rhydon right is gone, I, rocks are not in the field, and they are very nice because both Mozilla and Q Black are more bulky sets. They strive on taking some hits before and dishing out hits out. And if rocks are up, they of course can't do that as good. So um, it would be nice if we can get rid of rocks basically right away by killing the one with rocks. His only other rocker is the Necrozma, which he wasn't his rocker last time. So, and Rhino is definitely coming. It's only, oh, it's not his only ground resist, but Zyga doesn't like switching into the uh, Manetric in case I am go, just go for random HPIs and boom, he's Oakot or 2 hit KO depending on the set. So, uh, yeah, that's why I have Mespit right here. That is my whole team. Who do you think will be the MVP? What will pull through? What will not pull through? Let all these things in the comments. I'm of course gonna get my revenge on Mr. Uh, bringing them through the top, Joey, you all know him, you all know him in poke aim. We want to defeat him and yeah, basically allow Gio into the playoffs. I'm sorry, Joey, but you're not taking this win. And uh, yeah, that's basically all from me. I will see you another time tomorrow for the match, actually. Uh, I hope you can wait till then and uh, yeah, I will see you there. Ciao.